Well, congratulations to Keith Perry, the manager there, and all the lads. And West Auckland almost became the second non-league side to get through to the second round, but they must replay against Yeovil. Hartlepool beat Carlisle, and they could meet Fulham. For a non-league club, it's a long, long journey to reach this, the first round proper of the competition. So, for West Auckland, the trip to Yeovil in the West Country was just part of a day's work. And for a club which goes down in history as the first winners of the World Cup, then the FA Cup holds no fears. So much so that West Auckland, trying to reach round two for the first time ever, raced to a two-goal lead against a side that in the past has been responsible for taking the scalps of no fewer than 17 league clubs. Jonathan Milroy got the first after nine minutes. Then Paul Adamson made it two before half-time. Warren Patmore pulled one back almost immediately, but West looked to have a famous victory sewn up as the game moved into injury time before Al Hannigan got the equaliser, forcing a replay a week tomorrow. I told the lads before, I said, look, we can get two results. Just a win's tremendous, but a draw is still a good result. Ideally, you can just get one, it's the home win. They've got a long trek now to West Auckland, and I'll tell you, they'll get a culture shock when they come to our ground. 